Hey everybody, Not Nuts here again, coming to you with another professional and quality informative video about paracord and knot tying. So what I got for you today is pretty interesting, uh, I think anyway. i am um, been doing a lot of paracording, as most of you know, for a long time, and knot tying and so forth. Paracording is not really a word, by the way. And I keep finding, you know, as it becomes more and more popular, it's easier and easier to find paracord. And uh, paracord to me means a nylon sheath with seven inner two ply with seven two ply inner strands of cord, which will hold 550 pounds of weight, which um, usually made out of nylon, sometimes polyester uh, sheath. So. Um, a lot of times you get paracord and it's not really the mil-spec mil type paracord and this one I've been finding these around town so I'm fixing to tear into these I bought these I don't remember how much I paid for them I think I paid for this this one at Home Depot I got it uh, and this bracelet this made in China probably bracelet uh, both of these I think for $3.99 $4.99 $4.99 both of these so we're fixing to tear into this bracelet and see what kind of quality it is and this and we're gonna do this Walmart I found this stuff at Walmart um, in the tool section I think where they have like rope for boats and and uh, stuff like that uh, kinda of back by where they sell all the power tools and stuff like that this first one just says par paracord on it 80 pounds safe working load great for indoor outdoor activities which I'm gonna try and figure out how to find an end strand on this if not we're just going to cut into it and see what it looks like I'm guessing it's probably got some kind of uh, a yarn filler inside and not a real paracord like a 550 type paracord they do have one we're going to get into next that's advertised as a 550 nylon paracord let's I'm excited to see what that's about so let me see if I can find the end of this thing that's my first complaint is <laughs> you got to make a mess out of this thing to get it started of course you know if nobody if whoever sends you a hank of cord doesn't tie it the way you're used to it's going to be a mess okay well there it was okay it was on the other end okay so good that's not going to be terrible okay so let's cut into this and see what we got here Oh wow, look at that. There are some inner strands in there. Looks like. Wow. Huh. Hmm. Okay, uh, this might even pass for 550 cord. Uh, let's see, What's it does it say what it's made out of? It may, but I'm not going to read that right now. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inner and are they two ply? They are indeed two ply strands. Quiet! And it's got an outer outer sheath. Let's uh, let's melt it and see how it melts. If it's not if it's not nylon it won't melt properly. So let me get out my trusty lighter here. Okay, yeah, that melted just fine. Actually, I'm uh, gonna have. Okay. To anyway, I'm back, and uh, we were just talking about this. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention before, but this looks like the Black Widow um, pattern on this paracord, the black and white. With I'm sure there's a name for that pattern, of black and white or black and red strand, but I don't know what the pattern is or the this little shape here is called. But it's. When they're made together, it's pretty much Black Widow. I'm here to tell you that other than the fact that this this is not a tight paracord, it's puffy, you know, it's got some give to it. If uh, if I had got this in a in a hank of paracord that I bought from someone online, I wouldn't have known that it wasn't 550 cord. So actually, I'm impressed with this, and I will use this to make something with not survival bracelets but I will use that to make I don't know maybe lanyards or something that 
that uh, that's not somebody's not going to use in a survival scenario and uh, I'll use that to make some stuff with okay let's break into the 550 cord from Walmart and see how it's different if it is at all this one says military grade max load 550 pounds I wonder how this will be different if at all from the other one you see if I can figure out how to tear into it it looks like there's an end stuck in here maybe somewhere uh, maybe not no okay yeah I'm gonna have to undo this whole thing probably let's see about this end okay there it's it there it is okay alright so let me break into this bad boy okay all right so yeah this is uh, the outer sheath it feels like it's some kind of synthetic blend polyester nylon something and the seven inner strands do look nicer than on the other one if you uh, twist them the act the opposite way that they are twisted together you can see that they separate and that there's definitely two strands the other one did look kind of chintzy this one that looks like it's a little bit better quality uh, let's count the strands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's seven inner strands in both of these. And uh, I'll definitely use this. Let me burn it like I did the other one and see what see what the results of the burn test are. Excellent. Okay, so it burns really nicely too. It made a nice point there. Good. Okay, so that passes the test. Now we got this stuff that I bought at Home Depot in a display, and uh, I'm almost certain that this stuff is going to be a like a couple a big thing of yarn. I, this thing already feels really cheap. The ends all poofing out and stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See, this is just a big big hunk of stupid looking yarn inside but it doesn't really claim it does claim to be paracord but not 550 paracord and it does say a hundred pound test quiet little turds so he's barking all the time ruining my videos I'm gonna have to beat those dogs okay so obviously once you break into this you can tell that this is obviously not military grade paracord it didn't claim to be but I think that when a product says paracord it ought to it ought to be seven inner strand military grade 550 cord okay so also I'll I probably just I don't know I might do something with this but probably I'd be ashamed to sell this okay guys sorry about that my uh, camera ran out of battery power so I had to uh, start over again Quick summary, uh, we were trying three different kinds of paracord, two were from Walmart, one was just billed as a paracord and one was billed as a 550 paracord. Both of those paracords surprisingly good quality. So I am pleased with both purchases from Walmart and I'll use all that cord. The cord that I got from Home Depot was complete and total crap. I'm probably, if I can find my receipt, I'm going to take it back and get my money back because it was just filled with some kind of synthetic yarn, one big hunk of yarn. There was no cords in there or seven strands inside at all. So, and the outside didn't even feel like a nylon or a polyester. It almost felt like a cotton blend of something. So it was really disappointing. So, and you know, you get all kinds of experiences. Even when you purchase paracord online when you search for paracord online to try and buy it always search for 550 military grade and very important seven inner strands and even when you do that sometimes you'll get stuff that isn't what they advertised and once you buy something online especially if you're only making a ten or twenty dollar purchase it's almost not worth it the time and effort and the shipping and handling to send it back to get your money back and I think a lot of time distributors know that so they'll send you an inferior product so experiences can vary widely if you can buy it locally it's always a good thing save your receipt and take it back if it's not good paracord 
I am not at the point right now in my, I'm just starting up a business of selling paracord bracelets and key fobs and lanyards and zombies and zipper poles and blah blah blah. But I'm not at the point yet where I'm uh, able to sell quality paracord. But you, I've got a deal in the works right now. Hopefully I'll be able to sell hanks of 100 foot paracord for about $5, uh, $5 for 100 foot hanks. I'm not there yet, but I'm still working on it. And uh, you can be assured that if I am able to sell paracord to you guys, that it will all be good quality and you'll be happy with the purchase. So, in summary, if you can buy a local, do it, save your receipt, take it back. If you can't buy a local and you're planning on making a big purchase, uh, purchase small amounts or contact the supplier and ask them if you can get like maybe one or two inch samples. A lot of times they will send you samples. Sometimes it will cost you a dollar or two. Well worth it if you're getting ready to spend a hundred or more dollars worth of paracord, uh, on paracord, you know like several spools of paracord, to find out what quality and what color because a lot of times even the color that you're looking at online doesn't quite match what you get when you receive it in the mail. So uh, that's something to be aware of too. So thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.